Hey everyone, Tara Melton here with Magnet Forensics. Today's video is going to walk you through processing Facebook warrant returns in Axiom and what that data will look like in your examination. As of today, as of version 3.10 in Axiom, we support the processing of Facebook, Google, uh, Apple, Instagram, and Snapchat warrant returns. There are tons of benefits for law enforcement examiners to process this data in Axiom, as it makes it easier to access the information as artifacts within your case, alongside other evidence sources that you might have. All right, so diving in, I'm in Axiom process, and I've got my case details already filled out. I'm gonna to navigate to my evidence sources, I'll choose Cloud, then Load Evidence, and then Facebook. You can see that we also allow for the processing of Facebook Download Your Information, so if you're able to obtain this from a consenting party, I encourage you to process that here as well. So once you click on Warrant Returns, all you need to do is point to the zip file that contains the warrant return information, and now that will be added as an evidence source in your case. If you have additional evidence sources, uh, you can add those in and analyze those alongside the data from your warrant returns. And you can also run additional processes against this data as well, like keyword searches or Magnet AI, for example. I'm going to switch over to Axiom Examine so you can get an idea of what this data looks like in your case. You can see we have specific artifacts dedicated to parsing and displaying this information for you. In this sample, under the cloud category, you'll see that there is friend and friend requests as well as messages. But you may also get additional information in your warrant return data such as uh, photos, um, status updates, wall posts, things like that. Uh, my colleague here at Magnet Forensics, Jessica Hyde, actually wrote a blog detailing the data that you might see in your Facebook warrant returns, so I encourage you to check that out in our resource center on magnetforensics.com. As I said before, if you have additional evidence sources loaded in, like a hard drive or a mobile device or other cloud data, you can analyze them together using features in Axiom like timeline or connections. So for example here, I can build uh, connections from this author name, Dante, uh, from the chat message from the warrant returns. And now we can visualize additional artifacts from an APFS image and an iOS image that I have in my case as well. You can see there's airdrop artifacts, um, quarantine files when I scroll down. Uh, scrolling down further, you can see that there's email communication that, he, that he's had with other users as well. Finally, I want to note we we're able to add this warrant return support in Axiom because of the assistance of our awesome customers who are able to share this data with us so we can build these features. So thank you to those who have shared. We know that these returns can contain sensitive data and we're committed to keeping them as such. So if there's any customers that are able to share redacted uh, warrant return data, we would greatly appreciate it so that we're able to parse as much data as possible from as many sources as possible that you might need in your investigations. We hope you see the benefit of analyzing your Facebook warrant returns in Axiom, and we hope you take advantage of these features in your casework. Thanks for watching, everyone.